So the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. They may not directly give you the radius, they may give you a diameter. Okay, so all the way across is a diameter, but all you need to do to find the radius, given the diameter, is do what? So r is equal to how much of the diameter? Half, good. So the radius is half of the diameter. Okay, circumference, so these formulas are in your reference sheet. Okay, so area is how much you take a highlighter. Area is how much space is within the circle. Okay, and the whole area where the circumference, we don't call it perimeter, but that's just the distance around the outside. And we don't call it perimeter because it's got a curve to it. So the circumference formula, and you mentioned you didn't know which one it was, there's two. And they're both correct. Can someone tell me one formula? Tony, you mentioned there was two. What's one? C equals pi D. Do you know what the D stands for? Diameter. diameter. Yes. Okay. So the diameter is all the way across. And another way of saying that the radius is half the diameter, you can say that two radii is equal to a diameter. So that's why the other formula, instead of the diameter, has the two R. And then what's the other formula, Tony? C equals 2 pi r. It's because the diameter is 2 radii. Okay, so all the way across, diameter and half from the center to the outside is a radius. If you don't have a graphing calculator, uh, can you get up and grab one now? Or if you're watching the video, pause and grab a graphing calculator. And looking at number one, it says find the area in the circumference below in terms of pi. That's the shortest method, so we like it when it says that. So in order to do the area in circumference, okay, we need the radius. So we know the radius is three. So what does that mean the diameter is? Six. Because you can use either formula for circumference. So for area, that's pi times radius squared, and all you need to do is simplify the 3 squared, because it said leave the answer in terms of pi. So that would be pi times 3 squared is 9. Now we don't write pi 9 just as you don't write um, off to the side x9. You say 9x. We always put the coefficient in front. So the area is equal to 9 pi inches squared, since we're in terms of inches. Back in middle school, I don't know if the teachers still say this, but they used to say cherry pie is delicious, apple pies are too. So cherry pie is delici uh, delicious, that cherry pie, the cherry is the circumference. So circumference is pi times d, and our diameter is 6. Okay, or you can use the 2r. 2 radii gives you 6 as well. So the circumference is pi times 6, or just 6 pi, and then inches. Okay. So part b says find the area to the nearest whole number. So we're using the answer above. We just want 9 pi rounded to the nearest whole number. So let's go to the calculator and type in 9 pi. And what would that round to to the nearest whole number? Approximately how many square inches in that circle? The 8 is in the whole number spot. Does that get bumped up to a 9 or stay an 8? Stays an 8. So the area, and when we're rounding, instead of an equal sign, which has two straight lines, we use an approximate symbol. So it's approximately 28 square inches. Circumference, we type in the 6 pi. 
and rounded. Whoops, what I do? I did a carrot. So six pi to the nearest whole number is going to be what? 19. Good. So the circumference is approximately 19 inches. Okay, it's not square inches because we're not trying to fill the circle. That would be like taking a piece of string and outlining it around the outside. Okay, next one. Find the area in the circumference of the circle below. Well, area, just because we can't see it above, is pi r squared. In the picture, do they give us the, radi the radius or diameter? It goes through the center, but it goes all the way across. So that is the radius or the diameter? Diameter. So what would the radius be? Six. Okay, in terms of pi is easy, as we said, we don't have to go to the calculator. So pi times six squared, and then six squared is 36 pi. Our unit is feet, so area is in square feet. Circumference? <laughs> is pi times d, so the diameter is 12, it's just going to be 12 pi. So the unit is in feet. So why don't you take a minute on the calculator, type those in, let us know if you need help with the pi symbol, and then we're going to do the same thing we did above, I just want to know what 36 pi is in terms of a whole number. So type those in and round to the nearest whole number. So 36 pi and 12 pi. So the area is approximately 113 square feet, where the circumference is approximately 38 feet. Okay, so the area is approximately 113 yep, feet squared, where the circumference is approximately 38. So now, given the area, we have to determine what the radius is. So number three, what is the radius? So we're looking for r of a circle whose area is 16 pi. Well, if a is equal to 16 pi, we know to find the a, we do pi r squared. What happens with the pi's on both sides? They cancel out. So what number squared gives you the 16? What's our radius? 4. You can take the square root if you're unsure what the number was. We have a radius of 4. The area of a circle is represented by 36 pi. So what's the radius before I go over it? If the area is 36 pi, 36 is a perfect square, what is the length of the diameter? So the area is 36 pi, and the formula is pi r squared. What number do you square to get 36? Six. So that means our radius is equal to six. Therefore, the diameter, looking at the circle, if this is six, that means all radii are six. So then the whole thing, which is the diameter, is six plus six, 12. 
We don't have an, a unit. So number five, it says find the area of a circle in terms of pi inscribed in a square. So that's a new vocab term. If it's inscribed in the square, that means the circle is in the square. Okay? If it's inscribed in the square, that's more just saying, less saying the circle's in the square. Okay? And it must touch the square on all four sides. So if the square has a side of 14, so this is 14, this is 14, squares all four sides congruent, and you need to find area, which is pi r squared. Given the sides of the square, can you determine what the radius of the circle is? Let me ask you a question. Is this distance 14 as well? Is this distance 14? So if I just keep moving that up so it goes through the center, that's the diameter of the circle. That means the diameter of the circle is 14. So what would the radius be? 7. In terms of pi, we like that. So this is going to be pi times 7 squared which is 49 pi centimeters squared. From the VKR, what's half of a circle called? Find the area of the half circle below. I'm going to change that to one of those terms on your VKR if you want to take a look. Semicircle, yes. So find the area of the semi-circle, okay? What's that 22? That's the only thing they give us. That's the diameter, okay? Because it's a semi-circle, it means I cut in half, that must be the center, so the whole diameter, you can think of it as there's the rest of the circle, okay? So this is the diameter, what would the radius be? 11. It's going to be half. But if I only want to find the area of this side, and I know to find the area of a whole circle, we take pi r squared, what's going to be the area of a semicircle? This gives me the area of the whole circle. How do I find the area of half of it? We take half, okay? This doesn't say to round, so we always leave in terms of pi if it doesn't say. So we're going to do half of pi r squared. So we're going to do one half pi times 11 squared. Does anyone know the square of 11? Like 10 times 10 is 100. 12 times 12 is 144. Does anyone know 11 times 11? 121. So it's going to be... Yeah, and pi is going to be our answer, half of 121, which is going to be a decimal, because that's not even. Half of 120 is, let's do it without the calculator, half of 120 is 60, and then half of 1 is, so 60.5 pi, and we are in square feet. Last two. Find the area of a sector. A sector is like a piece of pie, a piece of pizza. Okay, it's part of a circle. Let's draw the picture though. We have a radius of eight. The central angle, well, or center angle, that means it's at the center. So let's draw, what would this angle be that went all the way across? A quarter of a circle. A circle is 360 degrees, so what's a quarter of 360? This would be 90, right? So 45, and it doesn't have to be exact, 45 let's say is right there, 45 degrees. 
Do you know right off the bat how much of a circle 45 degrees is? That fraction? So let's actually find it. On your calculator, 45 divided by 360. 45 divided by 360. And then math, enter, <coughs> enter, is an eighth. So instead of finding half of the area, we need to find one eighth of it. Okay, so this equals one eighth. So I'm going to do the area. I'm going to draw what looks like a pie slice or a pizza slice. Do you guys still play the game Trivial Pursuit? No? Remember how they had the pie? Yep, yeah, the sector pieces. That's an old game. So area of that sector is going to be one eighth of pi r squared. You have to first find that fraction of the circle. So what's our radius? 8. So it's going to be 1 eighth of pi times 8 squared. So let's do the multiplication on the calculator. So 1 eighth times 8 squared. And what do we get? 8. Does anyone know what 8 squared is? I ate and I ate and I was sick on the floor. Have you ever heard that saying? So 8 squared is 64, but then the 1 eighth of 64 um, is going to be 8 because you divide. So 8 pi, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So on the calculator, 8 pi the nearest tenth, would that be 25.1 or 25.2? Good, Ricky. 25.1. So the area is approximately 25.1 inches squared. Last one. It says, if the area of a circle is 60 square feet and the area of the sector, or find the area of a sector whose central angle is 120. Okay? 120, we've got to find out how much of the circle. So 120 out of 360, get that fraction for me from your calculator. How much of the circle are we talking about? A third. So if you were to actually look at the circle, um, let's draw the radius here. All the way across would be a half, which is 50%. What's the decimal for a third? Point what repeating? One third. You probably had it on your calculator before you. Point three. Well, if this is point five, let's say one third. There's point two five straight up. Let's just say it's this. So it's that much of the circle. And if you actually break it up into thirds, it would probably, well not probably, it would look something like this. Here's your one, two, three pieces. There's your third. We want the area of just that one part, okay? So if we know the total area of the circle, 60, they already did this work. The pi r squared's already done. So the area of the whole thing is 60, so to find just this 120, we take a third of 60. And 60 divided by 3 is 20. So 20, we're in feet squared.